and welcome back to Geek vs. Geek, where we put two competitors against each other, and tonight is the final showdown of Alien vs. Predator. Both competitors have a one-minute intro, a one-minute rebuttal, and a one-minute exit. They get to defend which one is going to be winning, and I get to choose at the end. And finally, after all this time, we get to finally decide, Alien or Predator. Tonight, we have... I'm Gavin, and I'm going to be taking on the alien side of things because they rock. Let's just face honest here. They rock hardcore. <laughs> they do. They do. And then over here, we have... I represent the predators, the superior hunters, the greater hunters. Those who destroy an entire block. It's very interesting with both of you two. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and start here. We're going to go ahead and do an intro. And Gavin, we're going to go ahead and start with you. Starting... Now. Alright, so you want to talk about true outer space horrors. Nothing's more frightening than a bunch of aliens. And so you get aliens predators, which are both aliens. But of the two, one is more ruthless than the other, because aliens are heartless, hive-minded killing machines. Predators oftentimes let the humans get off and join them. I mean, let's be real honest, that's not very frightening, that's also not very threatening. Yes, they like to hunt, but if you're hunting them back or you're pregnant, they let you go. Aliens will impregnate your little bitch ass with their own. It comes out and kills you. Yeah, no. You want to talk about true threats, true ultimate space badasses, you've got the aliens. they got the numbers. They can adapt to anything. They even become predators, pred-aliens. What do predators do? they got vagina mouths. That's all they really got. So I'm good with that one. <laughs> I don't know. It came it's out. Like, hey, I <laughs> Pocky, they are going, I don't know how I'm going to counter that. We, oh, I do. We, what are you, Pocky? Going with Predator. In five, four, three, two. Take it away. Oh, yes. We all know the superior race of the aliens. The ones who can't even get off at the damn moon for so long that the original queen becomes a gigantic fossil that no one recognizes. The eggs have to hibernate for so long that no one even remembers who they are. Yes, the superior hunters, the true evil scourge of the Earth of the entire galaxy who can be missed if you simply skip a small asteroid. The Predators, on the other hand, will come and find you. They will abduct you. They will send you to another planet far, far away from your home and hunt you down. Yes, they hunt humans. Why? Because they consider humans the greatest threat, the greatest predator predators themselves the galaxy has ever seen. Predators take pride in the fact that they only let the best of the best hunt them. In fact, when one dies to a human, it is considered an honorable death. Ten seconds. And also, for that whole, they won't kill your babies, it's because a female predator is the only one allowed to hunt humans. Female predators are the strongest. They and want hard to come here. But Ooh. That's a good intro, Gavin. And that's a really good intro, Pocky. But... I kind of want to hear more of a defense. So, Gavin, ready, win. set, and go. Ooh, let's all be afraid of the big bad hunters, right? I mean, Bambi's a mother's killer was more frightening than Predator is because he was at least heartless. Predators, they hunt for fun and sport and classes. They're very conscious of what they're doing. They can make the choice to do it or not do it, whereas aliens, you're in their way, you're dead. They don't need spit interplanetary travel because they're parasites. They hop on everything. They adapt to everything. Predators, they don't. I mean, predators can't even really defend themselves if a face hugger gets on them. I mean, come on now, what are you gonna do? Aliens are far more powerful. They're far more ruthless. I mean, I've said this since the get-go. You have a ruthless, terrifying enemy that you cannot stop. You can stop a predator and you can stop an alien, but a predator's more likely to be smart enough to walk away. The aliens, they're, they're too dumb. They're just gonna go forward because they got the numbers. They're like lemmings. They will literally Ten just seconds. pop straight at you with their little bitty mouth go bee, 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 and eat you. You can't top for absolute space badasses. Aliens. I'm slurring my words now. <laughs> Pocky though, they're all stone. Oh, going, I will not make bee mouth so jokes. <laughs> Pocky, go ahead and take it away. Ready, set, just you know what? You bring up a good point. Pre aliens are the ultimate adapters. They adapt so well that one of them can get t killed by an entire prison planet full of people with no weapons whatsoever. That's right. Unarmed human beings killed an alien by themselves. Great hunters there, guys. 
Uh, on the other hand, it takes Arnold Schwarzenegger, an entire entire village, and laid out booby traps just to kill one of these things. Arnold Schwarzenegger, like an entire like, there's a 20 minute montage of him setting up series of traps just to kill one. And at the end of the day, what happens when they die? They blow up three city blocks just to make a valid point. You know what? At the end of the day, happy predators, they'll come and stalk. They kill. They do. They can adapt themselves. We've learned their adaptive techniques because we see that they set up Ten seconds. whole worlds with the idea of a center point being people to worship them so the greatest hunters can come and fight them. No, they come to fight you. And you just put up the blockade. Cut. <laughs> wow, we got some really good intros. We got some really good rebuttals going on. But you know what? Let's go ahead and finish this up. Gavin, take it away and uh, tell us how this should end. All right. So to wrap up my aliens argument, what keeps you up at night? Watching aliens or watching Predator? Says everything you know right now. Yeah, aliens are, I mean, the Predators, they like to be hunting, they like to be things, but they cheat. They go themselves invisible and they use advanced technology. Aliens have their claws, their acid blood, and sheer freaking numbers. You can't top sheer scariness on just, if you talk about aliens, you want to be afraid, not, oh, well, hey, maybe it'll be weak to me because I spent 20 minutes to set up a trap for an alien that's invisible. No, Ripley needed a gun and a flamethrower, and she still had a hard enough time with multiple amounts of aliens. Aliens rock, alien queen rocks, face huggers. I'm just done because aliens, 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 <laughs> I mean, aliens. <laughs> I like the fact that you're willing to ruin your hairdo. Oh. Thing, like, no, one's, no one's allowed to touch your hair. No you're one is ever allowed like, to do no, that. No, I'll mess up my own hairdo. Idiots. Idiots. <laughs> I love it. Four All right, right Pocky. Let's go ahead and get this out of the water. Let's and go. You know what? You're right. At the end of the night, aliens could totally be frightening. If it wasn't for the fact that progressively the movies kept getting worse and worse and making them less and less of a threat. Yes, the first one was totally terrifying. Why? Because the humans were hardly armed. They had to jerry-rig flamethrowers to do the best they could. It took an entire militia army to die horribly to basically get you know Ripley into a power suit and then throw one into space. Yes, aliens are awesome when you throw a whole bunch of stuff at them or you have one of them versus like eight people at once. Great. Talking about numbers, how much numbers does it take? When a predator fights other people, predators fight on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And you throw a whole bunch at them, oh, they'll deal with that too. They'll systematically take part your squad, one by one. A predator kick out an entire marine squad. A group of people who took out entire villages were systematically Ten destroyed seconds. by a predator. At the end of the day, who was left standing? Yes, Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's because he knew how to duck and hide in the middle of a nuclear explosion. That somehow it doesn't even destroy the Terminator. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, wow. <laughs> so this we is are going to get so many flaming this, comments from this thing. We are because predators don't fight alone. They fight in teams. The only see fight alone in one or two is because they're stranded by themselves. You should be yes. qualified for that alone. Even I know that. You triggered me. No. Uh, they, all they, right. All right. Really all right. Fight. I'm the judge here, so I'm going to decide. You know, both of you have some really good uh, knowledge about uh, predators and aliens. Yeah, the predators are really smart. They go invisible. They definitely use... Uh, it's called cheating. <laughs> they have everything to where they, they hunt. They hunt their prey. And I do like the storyline that they have behind it and how yeah. they alternate it, everything with the aliens and the predators together. Uh, the aliens are superior, like very superior. They are terrifying. They are the ultimate, most terrifying, badass alien race I have ever seen in my life. And it's still, to this day, how big of a franchise on both of them are. Right. It However, is. I'm sorry, but a whole army to die just so, and to get her in a suit? She decided to get into the suit, and everyone was dying because the aliens got really smart because the humans were being stupid. To where but that aliens, was a planet full of humans. Aliens. But still, and enough. with the storyline and everything. You also gotta remember, <sighs> predators also fight at the end of the time. At the last fight. Hey, arguments are done. Shut thing. up. I'm just gonna say, as yeah. much as I would like the, I'm gonna have that. <laughs> and I'm 
haven't you're in the way. Yes! <laughs> See, now, now you know. <laughs> no, you know, you guys have both really good knowledge bases on this. However, there were a few things on yours I was a little... You weren't as physical as I was. But there was a few things on yours I was like, meh. And then also, the I was like, I'm a huge alien lover. I really am. Yeah. I, I love them so much. And, and actually, you also diminished the intelligence of the aliens. You kind of remember in Aliens 3... The aliens realized the only way to get out of that cell was they had to we sacrifice know. one of their own. We know. Spoilers! For there actually, are still people in this world know. who have not seen it. Yes. I'm talking lowest common denominator so that I could compete with your lowest common denominator predators. And on top of that, you kind of mentioned about Terminators. We're not talking about Terminators. We're talking about Alien versus Predator. Yep. So, that's it for our Geek versus Geek. I won! Guys, do a good job. Yes. Up next, we're going to be getting into our Alien versus Predator discussion. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after that's this. Stop touching me, you take it. Hello, okay. my darling. Hello.